So it's time for another set of Team of the Week predictions. Team of the Week 27 drops on Wednesday, and it is an international week. So, uh, yeah, these are normally really good or really bad. And looking through my notes, we could be in for... Oh, it's either going to be bad or good. It really, really is. It all depends on how lenient EA are going to be this week, and they're going to need to be quite lenient for the upcoming Team of the Week to be good, and you'll see exactly why in this video. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. We're not going to mess around in this video, we're just going to get straight into things, but just before we do that, don't forget to leave a like rating on the video if you enjoy the content, be sure to be active in the comments, and uh, also don't forget to check out our community discord, there's a link to join it in the description, and uh, yeah, come join it and come chat. Let's go. Let me tell you right now, the goalkeepers I'm going for this week, I do not have much confidence in. But there were not many goalkeeper options this week. Most who kept clean sheets didn't make more than one or two saves. It's been ridiculously hard to have find two gold options. But I've gone for the Bratka, who made four saves and kept clean sheet in a nil-nil draw against Cyprus. As you can tell, that doesn't sound too amazing. But for this week's standards, that's actually one of the standout uh, goalkeeping performances. And we also have Oblak, who made three saves and kept the clean sheet in a 1-0 win against Croatia. So uh, potentially two decent goalkeeper options right there, but um, as I say, two that I'm not particularly confident in. On the first page of defenders, we have a couple of right-back options. We've got Svensson, who got himself a goal in a 3-0 win, so a goal and a clean sheet for him. And then we have Serge Aurier, who... Um, Put in a pretty big performance to be honest and I've actually got his position wrong. I believe he played like a right wing back slash right mid role so I think he's going to get a right mid card. He got a goal and two assists in a 3-0 win so um, I think he's guaranteed to get an inform this week and as I say I think it'll actually be a right mid item. On the next slide, we have a potential inform, the second inform, Chiellini. Now, this is another one that I don't have too much confidence in, but he got a good match rating and got a clean sheet in a 2-0 win against Northern Ireland, so that's why I am including him. He didn't get the man of the match from Gazetta, and that's the only thing that's making me not confident in him, but he did get very good match ratings across the ball, so we're going to go for it. Also, uh, for an EA team of the week, it adds a good player, well, a good player, who, well, no, I'm phrasing this wrong, a player with a good rating is what I'm trying to say, so... I think EA might go for it and uh, as I say options this week are pretty slim. Mario Fernandez got himself a goal in a 3-1 win against Malta. Um, ultimately Russia had a couple of wins this week but uh, the goal scorer uh, Zuba, Zuba? I, I definitely am getting his name wrong, Artem Zuba is what we're going with. He got goals in both games but he's not in foot so we're going to go for the defender instead. Suchek might actually be the best player to come out of the upcoming team of the week because he's in line to get his third in form of FIFA 21 and uh, it's pretty much guaranteed he got a hat-trick in a 6-2 win against Estonia and to be honest there's not been a lot of hat-tricks scored this week so um, a hat-trick from a midfielder guarantees an inform and that's going to be a really really nice inform item you put a shadow on this card or even a hunter and there uh, you've got yourself an absolutely insane item even an engine would look great on at this card and uh, it looks like he's heading towards a team the season card as well which is going to be absolutely mental so uh, yeah as I say probably the highlight of the upcoming team of the week right there um, Augustinsson is the next player we're going to discuss and um, got himself a goal in Sweden's win against Kosovo and also got himself a clean sheet in their win against Georgia so maybe he could be one of the defensive options this week. Wind got himself a goal and a assist in a 2-0 win against Israel so he could certainly make his way on to the bench and then we have a potential inform Kai Havertz who didn't really, uh, he played twice, he didn't really start in either game, but he got goal contributions in both, and that's why I think there's a chance of this one happening. Um, an assist in a win against Romania, and a goal in a win against Iceland for him. And, yeah, I just think it's one that EA might go for. Um, in Germany's wins, it's been players like Gundogan that have, like, starred, but they've had so many special items this week, so I don't think EA will put them in. So, uh, also Nabry as well, but obviously recently had an inform, therefore he is void. Ajax and Ghana midfielder Kudis got himself two assists in a 3-1 win so that could actually be a pretty nice second inform item this week and then we've got Clark Harris who uh, is another one of the rare players who uh, got themselves a hat-trick and um, a 7-0 victory for his side against Accrington Stanley which is you know pretty mad. Damsgaard is a player who I feel pretty confident about making the upcoming team of the week as I slowly start to lose my voice again. Two goals and two assists for him in an 8-0 victory against Moldova. Pretty mad. Potentially could be more than one inform to come from that game and then on the other side of the screen we do indeed have Jovetic who like I said in yesterday's video 
I would actually like to see get a foot birthday item, but probably weren't. Um, but anyway, uh, two goals for him in a 2-1 win against Latvia. On this page, we have Dusan Tadic, who got himself a hat-trick of assists in a 3-2 win. And we also have Kyle Larin, who got himself a hat-trick um, of goals in a 5-1 win against Bermuda. But it's worth noting, in this game, Alfonso Davies got three assists as well, so he could get the inform instead. But I've got to go with goals over assists, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a left mid Alfonso Davies this week. Yilmaz got himself a hat-trick in Turkey's win against the Netherlands. 4-2 victory. One of them was a penalty, but as I say, with the lack of hat-tricks this week, I don't think that will matter in the slightest. And then on the other side of the page, we do of course have Forgan Hazard, who got himself a goal and a assist in a 3-1 win for Belgium against Wales. So, um, potentially a decent card there, but uh, obviously won't be as good as his foot freeze striker item. Shakiri was involved in both games for Switzerland in the past week, getting himself a goal in a win against Lithuania and a assist in a win against Bulgaria. Both games he played in a central role, so it could be a fairly nice position change in form. And to be honest, the way that this team looks looking could be one of the potential headlining players. So, uh, yeah, Liverpool fans, I'm sure you'll be excited for that one, but uh, I think the rest of the foot community won't really care. So, let's move on to another player who probably will feature in everyone's red picks, and that's Craig Noon, who got himself two goals and a assist in a 4-1 uh, win against Western Sydney Wanderers. Uh, and the A-League is obviously still active as I slowly lose my voice once more. And, uh, yeah, I get the feeling this one's got a really good chance of happening this week due to uh, the lack of domestic league action. Okay, now, on the penultimate page, we have a couple of striker options which we definitely need to talk about. We'll start with the obvious one, Calvert-Lewin. Two goals in a 5-0 win for England against San Marino. He was man of the match, got the best match rating as well, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I think he'll be in this week. It'll be a pretty pointless card because it won't be as good as his uh, player of the month from earlier in the year, but it is what it is. Anyway... Let's talk about Luan because uh, he got himself a goal in a midweek game against Hungary and then he got two more goals in a 3-0 win against Andorra on the weekend. So three goals over two games for him. So with that in mind, I have included him. However, I'm just not that confident in it to be honest because obviously we're not too far removed from his previous inform which I believe was uh, Team of the Week 23. I'm just double checking. Yeah, it was. So even though like he's like past the amount of weeks he needs to to be eligible I'm still not that confident in it just because like he normally has to get like a hat trick in like one game in particular to get in but I'm gonna go for it just because the team of the week is looking so poor um, EA might just want to you know improve it a little bit by having you know a player worth actually packing just in the team of the week alone but we'll just have to wait and see what happens there's a chance of Luan so uh, we're gonna include him in this prediction today and then to finish us off with my 23 man prediction we're actually gonna go for a potential Abamyang. he got himself a goal and a assist in a 3-0 win against Congo for Gabon. Um, he's another one that wasn't too far removed from uh, his last inform. He was in Team of the Week 21, but the gap is obviously much bigger for him. Therefore, I think he's got a pretty good chance this week. And he probably will be the headlining item this week, him and Suchek. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that will get you guys excited or not. Even as an Arsenal fan, this inform doesn't really bother me just because he's going to have a better card available in the form of his Rotten Fan items. So, uh, yeah, there is that. We're going to end this week by talking about Dembele. Now, he's not in my 23-man prediction, but I do think there's a chance that EA might throw him in. He got a goal in France's 2-0 win against Kazakhstan and also got a decent match rating as well. So he does have a chance, but it really, really is a slim one. And I can only see EA putting him in if, uh, as I say, they do want to juice up uh, the upcoming team of the week. But at the same time, Dembele very easily could be involved in the foot birthday promo. So uh, they might want uh, not to give him an inform this week. Um, another thing where noting is Silver Star. I'm not going to do a prediction for it this week and that's because I get the feeling it'll be a foot birthday item on Wednesday and it probably won't be related to a real life performance. So uh, yeah, look out for that. As I say, I think the Silver Star this week will be like a throwback to like a, a good silver from an old FIFA, which would make perfect sense and I think everyone would love that. Anyway, that's going to do us for this video. You've seen my predictions and you've listened to me ramble on about other stuff as well. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. In the comments below, be sure to be active. Let me know your thoughts on both my predictions and also who you think will be getting in on Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thanks for watching. I keep losing my voice. I don't know why. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.